Welcome back to our weekly environmental news report. First news. Nicaragua has announced that it will join the Paris Climate Agreement, leaving the United States and Syria as the only two countries not participating in the Global Pact. This move comes almost five months after the U.S. withdrew back in June, and Nicaragua has already presented to the United Nations the relevant documents to join. Nicaragua's Vice President Rosario Murillo called the International Accord, quote, the only instrument we have in the world that allows the unity of intentions and efforts to face up to climate change and natural disasters. In 2015, Nicaragua was the only nation to reject the agreement, citing that it did not go far enough and has since argued for more drastic action to limit rising temperatures. The island country of Fiji will preside over the next round of UN climate talks in Bonn, Germany, starting in November. Xinjiang, China is home to 20,000 glaciers, or around half of China's total. However, since the 1950s, all of Xinjiang's glaciers have retreated by between 21 to 27 percent. Li Zhongqing is a scientist who has studied these glaciers for most of his life, and says that at the rate global temperatures are rising, around half of all the glaciers in Xinjiang will be gone within 50 years. In an attempt to lessen the environmental impact, the government has banned tourism in the area and closed factories below the mountains. But the main cause of damage to glaciers is global carbon emissions. This is a problem for the entire region, as these glaciers are the source of the Yurimki River, which provides water for nearly 4 million people. According to Lee, if the global temperatures were to stop rising, it's impossible to save the glacier. Last Friday, President Trump said he will shrink two national monuments in Utah after accepting his Interior Secretary's recommendation to reverse protections for these parks. In September, Interior Secretary Ryan Zink had proposed to shrink Bears Ears and Grand Staircase Escalant National Monuments. Bears Ears, which totals more than a million acres in southeast Utah, is land sacred to Native Americans and home to tens of thousands of cultural artifacts. Both monuments were created by Democratic administrations under a law that allows presidents to protect sites considered historic or culturally important. Although Trump said he believes in, quote, the importance of protecting these sacred antiquities, he claims there is a better way to do it. Environmentalists and tribal leaders denounced the decision, arguing that the cultural value of the land outweighs any benefits from industrial activity. After being troubled by the Flint water crisis and the number of people affected by contaminated drinking water, an 11-year-old girl named Gitanjali Rao from Lone Tree, Colorado, decided to take action. She was unimpressed by the options her parents used to test the water in their home, and after reading about new technologies that could detect hazardous substances, she wanted to see whether they could be adapted to test for lead. Using the labs in local high schools and universities, Rao developed a portable and relatively inexpensive device that uses a cartridge lined with atoms that have an affinity to lead, which detects a change in electron flow. For her ingenious solution, Rao was named America's top young scientist in this year's Discovery Education 3M Young Scientist Challenge. Swarms of monarch butterflies that should have migrated to Texas en route to their wintering grounds in Mexico by now are still in the northern U.S. and Canada. Clusters of monarchs were spotted up north when they should be in Mexico by November 1st, but their migrations were delayed by warmer than average temperatures and strong winds this fall. Their muscles stop functioning correctly when temperatures are in the 50s, so scientists warn that if the butterflies don't embark on the 3,000 mile journey soon, they may either freeze or starve to death. Monarch populations have been in decline for years, plummeting from 1 billion to 33 million in just two decades. According to Jake Weltson, an ecologist at USGS, monarchs stuck up north are just one of many signs of climate change affecting the natural world's timing such as delaying first fall freezes and bringing spring earlier. That's all for this week's environmental news report. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and help promote environmental awareness. Thank you.